Hey Bookaholics, it's Isabel and I am here with another vlog for you. I'm doing this vlog because I have not been reading. I haven't read a book since Picture Us in the Light for the last challenge in the Scallywagathon. I have tried. I picked up Jodi Picoult's Storyteller and I started reading that and it's really interesting. It has to deal with like someone who experienced the Holocaust and everything and that sounds so freaking interesting. And I also actually tried reading Now Motion Picture, which I read like the first page and it was like literally just like a script of the movie they are adapting. And that's all I read because I was like, well, I'm reading Jodi Picoult. I should pick that one up and I just haven't picked up either of them for a couple days and like I've only read like 30 pages in Storyteller and then I've only read that one page and now motion picture. I tried reading another book too, Dream... I can't remember what it's called but I'll put it up somewhere to show you what book I'm talking about. I tried picking that one up too but I could feel the insta love happening and I was just I was not really into insta love right now. I, I I don't want that. I put that down as well. So I tried reading three books and none of them panned out. I just, I haven't been feeling the reading. I'm seeing if maybe doing a reading vlog will help me a bit. So I have the book Noteworthy with me. I want to pick up Noteworthy because that one I'm really, really excited for. Like I'm so excited for that. Like it sounds so freaking fantastic and so good. I'm going to be going writing. I am like less than a thousand words from 40,000 words. So like I'm excited for that it's good like I'm I'm happy with that I'm gonna be going to write see how far I can get with that and then I'm going to read also just bought a book yesterday because I'm not reading but I might as well buy some books I bought save the date by Morgan Matson which is one of my most anticipated reads so I had to get it and it was freaking signed and it was on sale so like, what do you expect from me right I had to buy it but yeah I'm going to Starbucks to do some writing and then I probably will just stay there and read a bit and really get myself reading that is my update for right now oh and updates as well I have a job that I'll be starting right away and I have signed up for some schooling as well this person parked Terribly. What are you doing? But yeah, that's all I'm gonna update for right now. I will just talk to you guys later. Oh god, I haven't done a vlogging outside before. Apparently, my Starbucks is not open. It's like all like papered around the windows, so I can't go there anymore. Um, I'm just gonna head to that way, skate books that I mentioned in my um, book haul. So that's what I'm doing, and then I'll see where the life takes me. Okay, so that was an unexpected adventure, but I didn't find anything that I don't have, but I did find the hard copies of City of Bones and City of Ashes, which I just have the paperback copies, and I want all of them to match, so I just had credit, so might as well use a credit on things that I have, but I want to match everything else. So now I have all hard copies, and I can get rid of the paperbacks that I don't really need. That is what happened. So I'm heading to the library, so that's what's happening. If I could tell the world just one thing, it would be we're all okay. I'm not so worried, cause worry is wasteful and useless in times like these. And like literally I was writing this like dialogue between these three characters and like I'm still trying I think I'm trying to get the feel of one character and he's just I think he's feeling more like my main character so I think that was one of my troubles with it and I'm like it just wasn't quite working and like literally in this conversation there's just one point where I wanted to write the main character saying this conversation is going nowhere like it was literally going freaking nowhere <laughs> and like i just had a sip of wake i was concentrating on more of trying to hit 40,000 words rather than actually making the story progress. It just wasn't really working. I read a little bit, like I read a chapter in Noteworthy and I like it. I think I was getting just a little too tired. Like I was starting to headache so I had to take off my glasses and I had to like step away from electronics I think. So I read a little bit, I read a chapter but I was still a little tired. <laughs>
earlier, but I was watching um, my cousin's kid today in the morning because my auntie had something to do this morning. I was just hanging out with him, went to the park, did dance off with him. We had fun. Now that she's back, I actually get to do things that I would like to do. I am just heading off to I guess the library. I am really liking Noteworthy so far. It is really cute. Like it has that feel of like, she's a man. It kind of reminds me of that a tiny bit. And it's perfect. So that is always wonderful and I'm really enjoying it. All right, I have a headache now. It is almost five o'clock now. I wrote a bit. I was still having trouble getting into the feel of the story at the moment. Like the dialogue, again, just was not flowing. But then I finally figured out kind of what was wrong. Sometimes I would start writing and it like this thing, this person just had to say something, but it wasn't like progressing the actual plot. And I was like, okay, just get out of the way. Don't say anything. And finally, once I got that person, just like not talk because it was just making it drag 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 and I didn't like it so I finally just like got that person to shut the hell up and I got another person to say something and it just started to flow more and it started to feel more kind of real I don't know if that makes sense that happened I did read a little bit of noteworthy I am still enjoying this book so much it has like a, like a fun little plot line but there's every once in a while these quotes will come in where it would just get real because in this book she is dressing up as a guy right and she's just having this moment where she sees how her acting as a guy kind of infiltrates into her world as a girl. It's just really interesting. I'm really, really enjoying it. But I don't know what I'm also going to say. I'm just going to go home and we will figure out my life. Well, hello there. A day late. I did not update at all yesterday. What did I do? I went out. That is something I did. I left the house. I sat outside. I wrote a little bit. I finally got that freaking chapter done. Like, I'm still not 100% happy with it, but I'm just like, you know what? What the? F what the hell? It's good enough. I'm done. <laughs> I got something down. It's okay. I read. I'm like over halfway done at Noteworthy, and I am just really, really enjoying it. Like, it is so much fun. Yesterday, besides my little thing in the car. <laughs> I finished Noteworthy last night and I loved it. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It was just, it was really cute. I really enjoyed it. I loved the narration. Um, it really flowed very nice and the narrator Jordan would say about like gender and how she felt in both and like finally the balance she was able to create was just done so well. I really loved it. So yeah, I ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars and I will say more about it in my wrap up but that's all I'm going to say here. Um, Talk to you guys later. Hello. Didn't update you for a while. I don't even know what date I updated you. But I know the last thing I said was I finished Noteworthy. And currently I started P.S. I Like You by Casey West, I think. Compared to Noteworthy, <laughs> I remember why I always give these kinds of books at least just a three star. And like, I am reminded about why I do, because man, like it's, it's fun, but like I'm reading it 
and like I guess I can understand because the high school conversations oh my god I really hope I didn't have conversations like those but like if I did man do I feel bad for myself but like so some of the conversations that are in the story I don't see a point for why it's in there. There was just one conversation in here that the two best friends, they saw these four freshman girls in front of them. They were exchanging a hot drink from Starbucks and like that's their tradition for every day and the best friend was like, we should have a tradition like that where we do something every morning. Maybe there'll be a point where this conversation will make sense to the plot, but like, I'm really not seeing why that conversation was in this. Like, I feel like this conversation could have been cut out because I was like, what is the point? It was there. So I know it's just like a little fluffy one. So I'm just like pushing through. I'm just kind of not criticizing those because it's not like a book that has to be like, taken seriously or anything so I haven't read a book like this for a while so it's like oh my god why am I reading this I'm waiting to get to the cute part because I like the cute parts I want to see the cute part but they just haven't come up yet so I'm hoping it will come up also the conversations are just kind of weird at the same time I'm like who says that so I know the main character is supposed to be like really awkward and says really weird things which if that's what the author's doing then sure that kind of makes sense but like at the same time, it's not just her. The responses to it don't make sense either. So I'm just, I'm, I'm getting through it. We'll, we'll see how this goes. But I'm going to Starbucks to write a little bit. I'm gonna probably just sit outside. Oh shit, that Starbucks gone. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting that Starbucks is gone. No, that was my go-to. Okay, now I gotta figure out where to go now. There's a Starbucks, oh, Starbucks back over there, which might actually work because there's actually like a thing that goes over. So my uh, computer won't get so hot. Okay, so my camera's gonna die like right away. So I'm just gonna do a quick update. I wrote a little bit, but not as much as I was hoping to and wasn't the most successful, but I did write about two pages. So it's something, but it wasn't my best. And then I also read a little bit. Again, P.S. I Like You is just really not feeling my thing at the moment. Like I was looking at reviews as well as reading this because I was like I wonder how this book is actually how other people have reacted to this and like it's highly liked like there's a lot of five stars four stars and like one of my ones I always look to she seems maybe having the same reaction I have but that's like very far in between like it has a 4.07 stars so like that is kind of way different from what I'm experiencing with this book it might just be not really feeling my thing I'm still gonna read it it's pretty easy to read even though sometimes I'm reading it I'm just like this is not seem real but you know that happened so I'm heading home now it's about three o'clock I'm actually actually I think I'm gonna head to Westgate books first I want to see what they have there they might have nothing new so I'm gonna check that out but I will update you guys later so many updates in just one day Holy Jesus, look at me go. You know what's happening right now? For one, I forgot to do some errands that I was supposed to do today because I got distracted by everything else. Two, I'm craving cheesecake, so I'm gonna go get some cheesecake. But three, it's still not the best, but I'm starting to enjoy. P.S. I like you. It's still like some things I don't really believe. Like some of the things that are being said, I'm just like, and like even the narration can sometimes be a little annoying, but like, I'm getting used to it and I'm liking the plot like it's not going to be a high rating at all But like it's enjoyable finally like I'm enjoying it and I'm like want to find out how it progresses to the point that I know what's going since the beginning it's predictable but sometimes predictable is fun so that is what's going on let me just turn on some music and we will get going on this adventure Okay, so I watched Glee uh, once upon a time and like when 
Blaine and Kurt sang that song like they just got together. Why sing a song about a breakup? <laughs> like, what were they thinking? Why do they pick that song? Like, it made no absolutely no sense i just realized i haven't updated you today i worked outside at my house because it's freaking gorgeous out it's like getting close to i think plus 30 so like yes so i was working on my story for a little bit this morning but now i am reading the blood of olympus the last book in the heroes of olympus series i'm like so close to being done but i did finish ps i like you last night i think i don't know if, i don't think i mentioned this no, I don't think so. Um, I did finish it last night. I ended up giving it like a 3 out of 5 stars. I was scared I was gonna have to like mark it really low, but 3 out of 5 stars isn't too bad. It was fun. It was enjoyable. I eventually think I got used to the writing or the writing just somehow differed from the beginning. I don't know. I liked the second half way better than the first half. Like I think what was the problem is I didn't really care for the friendship. I don't know, like the friendship was fine. It was just what they talked about just didn't really seem real to me. Whenever they were talking and sometimes I just like, what are they talking about? And it just didn't, just didn't really believe it. I liked the family aspect and then I liked the love interest. So it really built up my liking of it by the second half and it still got a three out of five, but it was still enjoyable. So yeah, now I'm reading the Blood of Olympus, and I think I'm also gonna pick up To All the Boys I Love Before. I've been seeing a bunch of advertisements for it. I can't wait for the trailer, and I can't wait for the movie in August. So I think I'm just gonna read it and just get some of the feels from that book. But that's my update for the day. I have been failing at updating you guys. I don't even know if I updated you yesterday. Like, I cannot remember the last video I did for this vlog. But I did this vlog to get myself out of a reading slump and I read three books since I started this vlog. So I think that's good. So I think this vlog is done. I have read Noteworthy, P.S. I Like You, and then I finished The Blood of Olympus for the Heroes of Olympus series. So I think this vlog is done. So yay. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, whatever you want. I don't know what you want to comment. So let me just know what you guys think. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Check them out the social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, Goodreads, and Instagram. I make a video every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.